Okay, so basically we are talking about an introduction to laminating. Um, there are various types of laminating that one can do when it comes to the application. It really all depends on the application. Um, for example, the type of laminating that we're going to do today is single-sided laminating using what we call an OPP film. One can extend that to different types of film, of course, depending on the application once again. If it's litho printing, if it's digital printing, if it's uh, a lot of dog coverage, things that can influence the type of film that one is going to use. The other type of laminating that one can certainly do as well is called encapsulating, and that is using a different type of film. That would be a PTE based, P, a bigger part in a PET based form, and that will give you uh, encapsulating. Um, the way your general principle in terms of laminating is going to be the same. It doesn't really matter what type of machine you're going to use. Um, this is just sort of a, a desktop, tabletop machine. It's a low production machine, very reliable machine. But again, it depends on the customer's requirements. It depends on the volumes that they're going to be laminating. What we're going to show you now is really how to load the film onto the machine and of course how to actually run the sheets through a machine for single-sided laminating. If one were going to do double-sided laminating, most machines have the wherewithal where one can load a second film, roll the film at the bottom, run both films at the same time and giving you double-sided laminating on the sheets. When we load the film we always have the glue facing the operator you obviously have your plastic side and then your glue. An OPP is a thermal based laminating film. In other words, it needs heat to activate the glue, thereby allowing it to adhere to your substrate. So your glue will be on this side and your plastic is on this side. But we're going to now show you how to actually line it up with the substrate for laminating. The very important thing is that when we are laminating, especially for single-sided laminating using an OPP fold, is that we don't want to get glue on the rollers. So with any type of machine that one is using, your film width should be within the borders of your substrate. Generally speaking for laminating, one is going to print on an oversized sheet and then trim afterwards. And that allows one to trim within the borders, as I mentioned previously. So you can see the operator is busy loading the machine. Your basic loading operation for all machines, the principle will generally be the same. You can actually see that the, machine, the, the glue is actually sort of melted now because it's using the heat to activate the glue, making it tacky. got a lead sheet so he's actually loaded up and aligned it using a lead sheet which is going to be coming out of the machine at the back which is first just to allow one to adjust uh, for your tension or the full needs to be tensioned according you know, if you are going to avoid any creasing or any what we call soldering other things that can influence the machine or the laminating is obviously your heat the speed that you run the machine at and your pressure. Of course, once all the sheets have been laminated, one can then just simply separate them. We'll show you how the separation can take place. And then the sheets, once they've been laminated and separated, will then go for further trimming. Whether it's single sheet posters like this, whether it's business cards, book covers, the applications are quite endless. Some of your more automated machines will, what, will use a system called bursting or sheet separation. We've got full rollers which actually will separate the sheets. Uh, the OPP form is thin enough in, to enable one to do that. But in this instance it doesn't have a burster and one will just separate the sheets individually. that can influence digital printing, certainly the inks, uh, depending on the type of machine. And then of course we can supply the type of film which would be applicable to the type of, you know, OP, uh, sorry, printing, 
digital printing, but digital printing depends how much dark coverage you've got, depends on the inks. So this is just a general lifer form. One can use a super stick form, which will give more adhesion to the actual form. It's actually got more glue on the form. And then we also supply a film called an ultra bond, which is even more adhesive than that of a super stick. And that is really for really dark coverage on the, on the print. And again, it will depend on the inks that are used. Other influence would be if the inks are not dry enough, for example, on a sheet. You know, once it's printed, it should be left to dry. If, that, if it's not left to dry properly, one will get a gaseous exchange, for example, coming through the sheets once it's been laminated. That will cause silvering, it will cause bubbling. Certainly that will affect adhesion and you're actually going to get what they call delamination. So what we were speaking about earlier is once the sheets come through, they need to be separated and then go for trimming. So one really, all one really needs to just give a nick into the form and separate the sheets accordingly. The sheet, the form is thin enough and it will just separate. As I mentioned earlier, on the larger or automated machines, they do have a bursting unit where as the sheets are coming out of the machine, they will just automatically burst and pile them on top of one another. Uh, this just gets done as a manual process. These sheets will now go for manipulated and then just go for further trimming on a guillotine or a rotary trimmer, depending on what the customer's requirements are. If one was to encapsulate substrates where it's like a poster, um, it's a thicker substrate, one wouldn't be able to separate it like this until the, the film is thicker. Um, then one would just use the cross cutter on any machine and then the two would be like the trimmer. That's your finished product, laminated. Some of the key advantages of laminating is that it actually enhances the colours protects your substrate, um, it's easy to keep clean, wiped down, particularly useful for book covers, for business cards, for menus, for posters, anything that is going to be utilized on a daily basis and you want to just, uh, as I mentioned, just enhance it and to make it look great. Certainly better than something that is not laminated, you can clearly see the differences.